Hi, I'm Roy. Today I'm going to demonstrate the proper use of the Calicrate Probander. The Probander is a very simple tool to use, but there are a few things that you need to be aware of to achieve 100% success. The first step in the process is to take a Calicrate Pro Loop and install it on the nose of the tool. Then take the tension strap and hook it through the pull tab on the loop. Then using the tension handle, apply just enough tension to pull that loop up snug against this plastic clip in the nose of the tool. This is very important. Do not pull this loop through the nose of the tool. Doing so will cause you problems because when you apply the loop to the animal and you're stretching it and trying to get it over the testicles and what, whatever, this plastic clip can become disengaged from the nose. You may not notice that and then you'll go and tension the loop and release it from the tool and this plastic clip won't lock the, the loop in place. Basically you'll have to start all over. The plastic clip has to stay engaged on the nose of the tool up to the end of the process. We're now ready to apply this to the animal. There's several ways of doing that, but the way that I prefer is to stick my thumb and small finger through the loop and then open my hand and bend my palm back. Then using my other hand, I can grasp the bander, pull it down slightly, and put my thumb through the loop right on top of the plastic clip. There's two reasons for doing this. One is, it helps ensure the plastic clip stays on the nose of the tool, and also helps in the application of the loop to the animal. Makes it easy to stretch the rubber out. Then, I'm going to take and I'm going to grasp the scrotum about one inch above the testicles. I'm going to pull down on the loop over the testicles and above. Again, you want about one inch above the testicles. The next thing that's very, very important, make sure that all this is in the same plane. What I mean by that is don't twist the rubber loop. There shouldn't be any twists in the strap. If you have twists in this rubber loop and you tension it, this self-locking clip is going to fail. Keep everything in the same plane. Now I'm ready to tension this. What I do first is I take out some of the slack. Just enough so I can still move this band around if need be, but I can verify that I'm placed approximately one inch above the testicles. The other thing I can do right now so I can verify that that plastic clip is still on the nose of that tool. So when you're happy that everything is correct, you're ready to tension. While I'm tensioning, it's very important that I watch this tension indicator ring. This tension indicator ring needs to come all the way back to the scribe line. Failure to tension the rubber enough will cause failure. And over tensioning, bringing this ring past the scribe line, will cause the rubber to lose its memory and the band will eventually fail on the animal. And you can also damage the tool by over tensioning. OK, 
Okay, I've brought the tension indicator all the way back to the scribe line and no further. This is a properly tensioned loop. It's good and tight. Now we're ready to release the loop from the tool. To do that, I'm going to use the Calicrate cutter. Please don't use a scalpel, a pair of wire cutters, a pocket knife, or any other utensil you might have on you. This tool was specially designed to cut these tension bands. You can't cut your finger with it, and it's going to enable you to cut these two bands quickly and cleanly. It's very important. The other thing you, that you need to understand is do not cut the rubber up close to the nose of the tool. Do not cut it midway. Cut it as close to the spool as possible. We recommend within one inch of the spool, but the closer the better. The other thing you want to make sure you do is that you cut this rubber quickly and cleanly. This rubber, under tension, is going to shoot back and the energy from it is going to lock this plastic clip in place. If done properly, it will not come off. So again, using the calicrate cutter, place it over the top of the rubber, close to the spool, and take one quick cut. And this band is now installed on the animal properly. To verify, you should have anywhere from a half inch to three quarters of an inch of these tag ends sticking out of the plastic clip. If you see, for whatever reason, that one of these is maybe only a quarter inch or both of them out of the clip, you may want to remove this band and redo it, or as an alternative method, you could place a band above it or just below it. Really, that's all there is to this. If you follow these simple instructions, you should achieve 100% success. Thank you.